Good morning, students. This is Dr. GVR Shashir Rao, Associate Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So today, in this uh, session, so uh, I want to discuss about uh, welded joints. So uh, as you know, the joints are classified into temporary joints and uh, permanent type joints. So the welded joints are classified as uh, the permanent type joints. So in this session, so we will see, so what are the important types of uh, welded joints and uh, how to calculate the strength of uh, different uh, welded joints. The first of all, so the welded joints are classified into two types. One is a butt weld, another one is a lab type joint. So that the lab joint is called as fillet joint. In case of uh, in this uh, welded joint, the lab joint are, uh, lab joints are called as uh, fillet joints. So you know the welded joint is the main aim, aim is to join the two metal two pieces. Clear by using external uh, force by using uh, fusion. So in this uh, um, the welded joints, uh, the different uh, types of uh, the joints according to their uh, arrangement, plates arrangement, clear. So, so mainly the main classification is uh, the lab joint and the butt joint, the same as in uh, riveted joints also. But uh, the, in this uh, the welded joints, the lab joints are uh, um, also called as uh, fillet uh, joints. But we in this uh, session, we will see how to calculate the strength of uh, the fillet uh, the joints and different types of uh, fillet joints also there. The first we will discuss about uh, butt weld joint. So in this, uh, if the edges of the two plates are touching each other and are uh, joined by welding, so then the joint is called as uh, butt welding. Here two plates are touching each other, so two plates are kept together uh, side by side. So that is aligned with uh, uh, other plate. One plate and aligned with uh, other plate. So then joined by the welding process. This type of joints are called as a butt joint. See in this uh, shown butt joint uh, uh, diagram. So here let us take a length of weld L and a depth of uh, weld T and a tensile force F. Here yeah, sigma T is allowable tensile stress. So when it is a welded joint is subjected to tensile force, clear, here uh, tensile force P, here also P. So this uh, joint is here uh, plate 1 and uh, plate 2. These two plates are joined with the help of uh, uh, welding, welding process. So this joint is called as a butt joint, why? Because here uh, two plates are uh, aligned with uh, each other, clear, side by side touch each other. So this is uh, the welding portion, this, this is the weld length, the length of the weld. So, uh, so this type of joints uh, when subject to tensile load, so how to calculate tensile force? The tensile force is equal to tensile strength multiplied with the area. So which area? Weld area. So the weld area is you can calculate so what is the weld area? This is uh, the butt weld joint. This this area is called weld area. So the weld area is length and multiply with the depth. So the multiply with depth or thickness of the plate that is T. L into T. So it gives area of the weld. So now the multiply with the sigma T, you will get the tensile force, the tensile strength of the joint. Clear? So next again, these uh, butter wells are uh, divided into different types according to their uh, joint uh, shape, single weed butt joint and a double weed butt joint, the single U type joint, U butt joint and double U butt joint. So here shown diagrams, you see the first one is single uh, V butt joint, the single V butt joint, the type, the joint, uh, the weld joint shape is in the form of a V, clear. And second one, single uh, U. See here, uh, the U shape uh, uh, joint is there. 
and uh, third one is double uh, V type vertebral joint, double V. So the top and the bottom. So uh, like a uh, V shape. Clear. So you are a double U bud. So the joint looks like a double V V shape, and uh, U, uh, V and uh, U. So these uh, in this uh, double U. So double U. So the shape is one uh, top and uh, the bottom. Another U shape is there. So so that uh, like this uh, according to their uh, um, the weld shape divided into the four types. So and also divided into so another types one is the corner joint and uh, edge joint and a T shape joint. The form of for T and uh, edge and a corner. Next one is the second uh, type is lab joint or a fillet weld. So in this, uh, when the two plates are overlapped and joined by welding, so one plate overlap and another, so then the joint is called as a fillet uh, welded joint. So one plate placed on another plate. So then the, the joined by these two plates with the help of welding process that is called as a fillet weld or otherwise the lab joint. See in this diagram again uh, this fillet weld uh, classified into two types one is single transverse uh, fillet weld and a double transverse fillet weld. Clear? So double transverse fillet weld and single. So in this uh, case see two plates are welded uh, the joined by welding process. Uh, the, process please see in these two plates are subjected to uh, the load the axial load clear so this is top view and uh, the elevation so the weld portion is here uh, shown so yes uh, here is uh, called as throat uh, area or uh, throat uh, yes is throat uh, weld throat clear so how to calculate this Throat. In case of double th transverse and in case of single transverse, how to calculate, we will see. So let take L is equal to length of weld and T is throat thickness and S is uh, size of weld and F is tensile force. The size of a weld, that is a throat size, clear? And sigma T is allowable tensile stress for weld metal. Clear. See the throat thickness. Uh, you can calculate uh, uh, like this. Uh, AB into sine forty five. So AB into sine forty five means you can take uh, the weld is in the form of triangle here. So uh, this is uh, uh, so yes. Clear. And uh, AB sine forty five. So this area, I don't know. So take here uh, 45, A, B and C. So in this, uh, you can write uh, AB sine 45, AB is equal to S into sine 45 value is uh, 0 0.707. So throat area. Is the minimum area of weld. So that is uh, uh, length of weld multiplied with throat thickness. Length of weld multiplied with throat thickness. Throat thickness is uh, S into 0 0.707. So then easily you can calculate tensile strength of the joint. So that is uh, uh, also called as maximum tensile force which the fillet joint uh, can take. So that is uh, sigma t multiply with uh, 0 0.707 multiply with L into S. Yes. The tensile strength of the joint for double fillet in case of for double fillet weld so need to multiply with 2 so it gives 1.414 sigma t into L into S. Yes. So like this uh, you need to calculate uh, the tensile strength of the joint for a single transverse for a double transverse. Next, strength of parallel fillet weld. The parallel fillet welds are designed for shear strength. They consider a double parallel fillet joint as shown in figure. The parallel fillet welds mainly designed for shear strength, but in transverse fillet welds are 
designed for tensile strength. We have seen in a previous uh, slide. When it is subjected to tensile load, so how to calculate the strength of a parallel fillet weld? Here one weld is uh, on top and uh, so the second weld is on below parallel to each other. So now take uh, if uh, tau is the allowable shear stress of the weld metal, so then the weld strength or shear strength of the joint is you can take uh, allowable shear stress into throat area 2 into 0 0.707 s into l into tau. So this is uh, 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 this is uh, the empirical relation for calculation of uh, this uh, strength, shear strength of the joint for double re double uh, parallel fillet weld. So we will get here one point four one four. Multiply with S into L into tau. So, consider next combination of transverse fillet weld and a parallel fillet weld. Combine a combination of these two, the previous transverse fillet weld designed for tensile strength and a parallel fillet weld designed for shear load. The combination of these two, so whenever the, the joint subjected to these two, um, the, um, the subjected to tensile load. The combination of terrors of transverse fillet and uh, parallel fillet. How to calculate? So, we have shown the parallel uh, fillet weld, the length is L2, the transverse uh, fillet weld, uh, length is L1, L1 and uh, L2, L2 on uh, both sides. It is a symmetry uh, joint. So, if uh, tau is the allowable shear stress uh, of the weld metal, so already you know, uh, we have calculated the sigma t is the allowable tensile strength. So then the weld strength of the joint, so that is uh, F is equal to sigma T multiplied with L1 into 0 0.0707 into S plus tau into L2 into 1.414 multiplied with S. So it, it gives uh, total strength, the shear strength of the, um, the joint. Okay. So it is a combination of uh, two transverse fillet weld and uh, shear uh, fillet weld. So you know already the transverse fillet weld, the transverse fillet weld, uh, the throat thickness uh, calculated here as into 707 multiplied with L into T. So it, it gives tensile strength of the weld. This is for uh, uh, transverse fillet weld. For double fillet weld, uh, multiply with 2. So similarly, the parallel fillet weld. So you know the equation 1.414 multiplied with S into L into tau. So now the combination of these two, the summation of these two gives the strength of the, the weld strength of, of the joint. Clear? So for reinforced uh, welded joints, you may uh, you may take 0.85 times of the plate thickness. This is for reinforced welded joints. So these are the references. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.